everybody. My name is Elena Vuksanovic and this is Lale Hancock. <laughs> and we wanted to talk about few teams and one of them is business done different. In the last year, you've been meeting a lot of people and this has changed your perspective. This is my impression. So maybe you can share a bit about that. You know, like my whole life, I've enjoyed being with people and having events and even getting to know someone one-on-one. -on -one. Like those are my, some of the fun things for me. I can do pretty much anything and everything. Like I can be on my computer all day long. I can do a lot of things, but where I'm happiest is when I'm engaging and meeting with people. Like even when you said that the staff that we had, right? Um, and the new staff that we have, it's actually opened up a whole new all opportunity for so many other people now. Um, it's always been about engagement, but not because I'm, I'm checking off. Did I engage with Yelena today? You know, it's nothing like that, but it's how much I care about, you know, getting to know people and then exploring where are ways that we can actually contribute to each other, not with an agenda of why we're doing it, but more for like, Hey, having a conversation. Cause when you do it really is the multiplier. It's those energies that go out in the world. And it's not just two people talking. These energies now become available in the whole universe. So we're really opening doors to new possibilities all the time, just by someone else choosing it. And engagement has always been important for me. You know, like even in my consulting, when I would work with my clients, I would tell them, you can't just be at the top making all the choices and hope everyone in your company agrees with you and then does what they need to do. You need to bring people from different parts, different divisions, different um, you know, groups, and they need to be part of the ideas that get created. You can have the strategy that says, okay, we want to blah, blah, blah. But then you have to engage, you have to let others be part of the storytelling, the creation, the actualization of it. Otherwise, it's this disconnect of energy. And that's how I've always created the businesses. Every single one of them, anyone who's ever worked with me and the businesses knows I've always engaged their ideas, their awareness. What do they know? and asking them a lot of questions and not just about the answers. I have plenty of people who've worked with me initially and you know they were architects or you know they were like you wouldn't expect based on their background what could they do. But that's why they get to bring the whole them to the plate. Yeah. You know and with you, the things that you have played with the different businesses has been incredible. You know, I didn't even know you were a screenwriter until one day I interviewed you, you know, so <laughs> like, yeah. that's also business done different because a lot of times people are looking for these specific magic words that were on a resume or on a CV, right? Yeah. But say anything. It's like, what does this person actually know? And with some training, because I've always invested a lot of training in people, what else could they be creating? What else are they curious to learn about that we can engage them and include them in other parts of the business? Yeah, I, I see that because I did a lot of different stuff in my, in my life, but only from this point of view, oh, I would like to learn something new. And sometimes it was weird for people, like how can you also edit and do this like website stuff and do this educational stuff with kids? You're a writer, you should write. You know, this is the point of view of my school, of you know, my, my training and everything. And I was like, yeah, but this is not fun for me. I like to do all of this different stuff. Like I like to learn more, etc. So I didn't find until I, like met certain people and people who are doing stuff in a similar way I was so insecure because I was like I need to focus I was always like you should focus woman you are losing your time you know I was like really judging myself but actually like now I just see how all of this can come to a place in one moment 
and give you a different quality because me, I can make a website, but I can also make a written material and it, it can all come together. And also because I like to edit the videos, like I can make the full package, even if it's only for myself, but it's like, it's just like nothing is wrong. And it's like when we learn that, that actually when I follow my knowing and my like uh -huh, sense of like what creates more, I can truly create more for, my, for myself, but also for my like surroundings. But if I'm like stuck in one point of view, it's really kind of a limited reality. And I just perceived how much people are limiting, limiting themselves. And uh, I really like this program because it opens up a different kind of a door and different kind of a perception. So yeah, that was, that was yeah. kind of a difference. Um, I remember like I helped my friends study uh, for all the exams to get into law school. I was supposed to be in medical school. I decided to take a year off to, you know, get married and take care of him and all this other stuff. And what was really interesting for me is that I am that person. Like I love the diversity of different things. If I do one thing, I will get bored and I, I won't know what to do with myself. And I remember I had friends who were accountants for 18 years. They were lawyers for 15 years or whatever. And I used to think, oh man, I'm terrible. I don't do all those things. Now I've been in business over 30, I've, at this point, it's like 34 years, 33 years or something like that. And in those years, though, it's been different industries. It's been different roles. I've been executives. I've been this, I've been that. And that's the beauty I loved is that, you know, it's like get to know things from a high level, get to understand all the in between, make it better. And then I was off to the next thing, you know, and, um, and I remember how much people would judge that. I and, uh, so and I how realized you, how you were dealing with that. I'm kind of interested, like when you were judged, how you were dealing with this, would you just move on and you don't care? Or I mean, what was it your... Was moments of my life like there were some moments I really I cared about what people thought but not enough to ever stop me in my ambitious career life you know what I'm saying yeah like there um I we get judged morning noon and night we just don't realize it because so much of judgments is energetic it's something going on in somebody's head they might not say it out loud you know and when you are willing to actually receive the judgments with no walls and no barriers and just like, interesting, okay, that's their opinion. My opinion could be different. You actually make more money, you're happier, your body's healthier, but it's those moments when we're like, we don't want to receive their judgments. We don't want to do things they wouldn't do is when we limit ourselves and actually put up our walls which stops everything, including your wellness and health, your happiness, your money flows and everything else. And so there's times I'm really good at this and I'm, sometimes I'm not so good at this, you know? Um, so it's not something like a destination. It's something every day you have to be willing to choose and enough to be like, okay, let me learn what all the options are, but I don't have to go with what everybody else is choosing. I've just found I've always been business done different. That's one of the reasons I love to do this workshop all around the world because no two people are ever the same and no two businesses are ever the same. So what you try to replicate in what works for somebody else will never work for you in your business because your energy is never gonna be their energy. Even if you're doing the same thing, selling the same product, same identical product, or same service or whatever it is, how you pull clients in is based on your energy and the energy and the voice of the business. Okay. So there is no two of that. Yeah. You be in the same place and see one business does really well and others don't. It's because this one's willing to be themselves. They're willing to be unique unique in the sense that they're not judging themselves for what everybody else is doing, but they're like, okay, what's fun for me? What are ways I like to engage with my customers? Do I like to call them? Do I like to WhatsApp them? Do I like to do social media? And be aware, social media, more than ever, everyone is bombarded with social media. Most of social media goes nowhere, in nowhere land. 
But you picking up the phone and talking to one person can fuse that energy out to millions, okay? If you allow it, the voice of your business will tell you where to go. I remember um, I used to love, I still do, getting my nails done. And there were moments I had so much going on, so many things with the businesses going on around the world. And I was like, I don't have time right now. I'm going to have to do this this weekend. And my body would say, no, you're going to go right now. I would set up an appointment. They'd be like, Lale, we just had a cancellation. You have perfect timing always. No, no, it's because my body, my business created that. Mm -hmm. I would go be nurtured but I was also helping that business grow. Every time I showed up in the salon, it could have been dead for 10 days. The minute I showed up and my energy was there, more people would come in. And she would say, Lale, please, can you just stay here every day? Because when you come, our business always thrives. And then maybe somebody sat next to me and we had a conversation and I gave him a tool or something. Like it was never linear. I didn't go because I was doing it to meet someone. I was going for what made me happy. And then these other effects came from it. You know, like one time I went to go get my hair done and I got a phone. I was like, what would it be like to be in a book? You know, have a book. Um, and I was like, oh, I went and got my hair done. Three, four hours later, I come out, I have a voicemail. You know, we would love to feature you in our Leaders and Legends book. Oh, by the way, yeah, Steve Jobs is in here, Oprah's in, like, I was like, this is so funny. I just went to go get my hair done. And I just asked the question. <laughs> really, and at first I thought it's a scam, of course, because how could it be? I asked and it just magically showed up a few hours later. It didn't show up a few hours later. I checked my phone a few hours later. <laughs> Um, and it did that actually opened a lot of doors for me and then there was another book and there was another book and another book and I was in America's Leading Ladies last year and there's a new one that's going to be coming out in the next six to nine months as well but that's what I'm saying like when we're engaging not just with people okay engage with people but also engage with the business uh -huh. and then it's magic the things that come when you're willing to have this communion with the business because it literally whispers things to you like hmm go this way uh -huh. why am i driving this road today when i normally drive the other that's because the business is guiding you to something else today